I put them down here somewhere, Steve. Here they are. Hey! Have that sunshine. <laughs> How are we doing, everybody? It's Kev Ashford back in the van for another van cam here on the biggest Man United fan channel in the land. This is the United Stand. It's your road trip. It's your van cam. It's Brentford against Manchester United. And Ten Hag has come out with the good news that Lissandro Martinez could be in tension uh, in, in, in contention, possibly, for a start or some kind of game time, which is an absolute... It's an uplifter. That's what it is. Whoosh. It is an uplifter because if there's one thing Manchester United certainly need at the back, it is Martinez, the old RG Butcher. Certainly, Varane and Martinez really, really complement each other well. So that is a huge lift. But obviously, previously, and it seems ages ago now, but it is, ages ago, it's still fresh in the memory is the fact that Manchester United did navigate their way to the FA Cup semi-final. Just the small matter of a, a a little result against the Scousers. I'm all there for it, man. The Scouse, the Scouse tears, the absolute Scouse meltdown was absolutely fantastic to see. And to win it in that manner, literally the last seconds of the game, Diallo, like leaving it over in my head, man. I've seen it about 683 times that goal. Like we'll never, I'll never get tired of seeing that. You've had people like Jamie Carragher obviously spouting stuff on social media that, that this game meant nothing. Uh, and when we finally get beat and knocked out of the FA Cup, you know, it will mean nothing. It will. And it's a calm down. Of course it will. This, this result will go down in folklore and it will always be remembered regardless of if United win the FA Cup or not. But what a fantastic performance. And in the previous Van Cam, when I did the, the build-up to the Liverpool game, I was really confident and it made absolutely no sense at all because I'm like looking at this game and on paper, you know, when you consider the form of the two teams... It didn't make any sense why you would be so confident. I touched on the fact that it was at Old Trafford. I was playing purely off the, like, the fans being the 12th man. Wayne Rooney alluded to that in, in, in the build-up to the game, that the fans had to be fully behind the team, which they were. It was a fantastic, just a brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. And I think the players fed off that. They were invested in it. Uh, and they basically give back to the fans what we have wanted to see all season. And that was a kind of 90-minute performance. But the, the thing was that they dug in. Uh, there was pride. There was fight. There was passion. And this is something now, you know, games like that will mean nothing if, if we don't continue this until the end of the season. But well, the one thing it does show is that the players are capable of doing it. So it does beg the question, why... Could, can they not get up for certain games? You know, be, be, whoever it is, if it's a Crystal Palace, if it's a Fulham, teams that have beat us this season, you have to play every game like that. You know, every every game is not going to be a Liverpool. There, there are other games you need to navigate. And that starts today with Brentford. You know, this run now, we are behind in the pecking order for the Champions League places. We need to try and get... Uh, fifth place might be enough, but we need to try and break into the top four. There are so many points to play for. The the huge one for me is the fact that you look at the games. You know, if we can navigate through Brentford, which will be a tricky game. I don't care what anybody says. It's an away game and United haven't travelled that well. But after this, then you've got Chelsea away on Thursday night and then the return of the Scouse knobheads. You know, we need to get back into Scouse buster mode. You know, we've done them already this season. We can do them again. But what I mean is, if we can get the points at Brentford this evening, then you've got two huge games, an away game at Chelsea and a home game against Liverpool. And you have to kind of look and think, how many points could Manchester United get from them games. So let me know in the comments section. And I forgot to say earlier, I made a little line, but make sure if you, you're enjoying the content here on the United Stand that you finger the like button. Oh, yeah. I suppose in some senses that international break really come at, at the wrong time. 
uh, as a Manchester United fan because if there's one thing even for the fans but also the players as well you want to take momentum and that's what it will all be about from now until the end of the season but I mean on the back of a great win against Liverpool you just wanted to play a game the next day I'm sure the players felt like that it's all about building from now until the end of the season well that was a great result and again you have to go again Brentford will pose a threat to Manchester United. It is no, make no bones about that. You know, we have to go out and navigate through this game. Obviously, the main threat from Brentford's point of view or from a United point of view, for me, would be Ivan Tony, who this, this week was kind of linked to Manchester United, you know, a, a move. And you look at it and you think he will be a threat. You know, he's brilliant holding the ball up and depending who plays centre-back, I'd be hoping, obviously, that Varane is in there, uh, that Varane can do a job on him. But Ivan Tony, following his ban, he's come back, he's scoring goals. He's a threat from set pieces as well. We have to definitely not be giving any silly free kicks away on the edge of the box because Ivan Tony will pose a threat. But Brentford... They, they are, they've had a bit of an up and down season. Yes, they are down near the bottom. I would suspect that they will survive this uh, Premier League season. I think they're too good to actually go down. But yeah, we cannot underestimate Brentford. Ivan Tony, I don't I think it's a no brainer. I don't think I'm, I'm like reinventing the wheel or anything by saying that he will be the main threat. From, from United's perspective, it's how we deal with that. And this is where the major news of obviously Eric Ten Hag and his press conference saying that Martinez, you know, he's, he's very, very close to a return. He was even quoted as saying that, you know, he could possibly get some game time against Brentford. That will be great. You know, we, we need a player like that now. Uh, I talk about momentum. I talk about trying to break into these Champions League places and putting pressure on Aston Villa and Tottenham. And Lissandro Martinez will be a huge, huge part of that because he is part of the spine. And when you look last season, all the good things at our club United uh, was all built on that foundation at the back. And you had the rocks that were uh, Martinez and Varane. Obviously, we, there was some talk as well that Luke Shaw should be back before the end of the season, which again, just having that settled left back, Luke Shaw, I think is very underappreciated by some. Some people don't understand what he brings to the team. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. That, that's the kind of voice I do when people are like, Kev, Luke Shaw, shit. And I'm like, yeah, really? Because uh, I think we've, you realise now just how much we've missed him over the, you know, the last month or so. He's not been in the team and we do miss him. Uh, Diego Dallo picks himself at right back. I think he's been the standout player. I go as far as to say at this moment in time, easily uh, Manchester United's uh, player of the season. You know, he's Mr. Co consistent. That's what uh, Dallo has done for, the, for this club this, this, this season. I would encourage you encourage you encourage you to get into the comment section before the game starts i don't i don't need any of these uh sarcastic weapons you know that come in after the game you know if united win 2-0 it'll be 2-0 remember it's time stamped and kev will see it but i will have a brief look through once the video is uploaded on youtube i like to get in there and respond to your some of your comments if you've got any comments you know is lisandro martinez a huge huge lift for United, yeah, of course he is. But let me know in the comments section, get in your score prediction. And if you've got any any other questions, uh, try and keep it to, to football. Do you know what I mean? I am uh, a weathered man. You know, I, I've been through a lot in my lifetime. I'm experienced. That's what, I don't know where I'm going with this one. But right, it is Brentford. Uh, what's Kev saying? What, what, what is Kev saying? I'm arguing with myself. I'm asking myself questions. This is the kind of thing that sends you mad, you know, when you're just alone with your thoughts in the van. I think I'm going to throw it out there that Manchester United are going to win 2-0. There's my prediction. And if we get beat or something happens like that, get back in after and say, Kev, you said United would win. And I'll be like, yeah, I know. But you always get this on game day. I had it with the Liverpool game. I had no reason, uh, you know, like technically or from from that perspective of why United should win. I was just playing purely off fives, purely just getting into the zone because it was Liverpool. And I'm thinking, we can do them today. That's what you have to have as a, as, as a supporter. 
you support the team, you go along, and it's it's that level of expectation. But the thing with United this season, it has so often been, is one step forward and two steps back. One step forward. Two. So we're just, you know, we need to make the ground up. Like I said, at the risk of repeating myself, we need to start putting serious pressure now on the likes of Tottenham and Aston Villa. And we give it a good push. Top four. We're coming for you. And for United. This evening. Against Brentford. Come on, United! Voice went a bit there. Woo! Got that one in.